Welcome to the to Raspberry Pi Towers. Is that what you call yeah, it? Yeah, Raspberry Pi Towers. That's, awesome. Uh, this is the kind of anonymous. I'm just checking to see there's nothing on the whiteboard because there <laughs> is sometimes, you know, our secret plans on the whiteboard. Oh, so, there's definitely but, secret. Yeah. There's an invisible there no, ink though or something. No yeah. Plans. Anyway, um, welcome to Raspberry Pi Towers. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I'm here with Evan Upton, founder of Raspberry Pi, and we're very excited to talk to you today about, uh, or at least to each other, about <laughs> the Raspberry Pi Zero W mm -hmm. and um, security relating to that. So you seem to have some interesting anecdotes or insights about the release. Um, that. Yeah. So that was Zero W is our what's well, our new baby. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's it's the, the little little ten dollar one. Um, yeah, it was kind of crazy. The interesting thing about zero, about zero and zero W is we make them ourselves. Right? Oh. Where the other Raspberry Pis are made by our licensees, uh, we make, uh, we make, or we pay somebody to make those yeah. for us. So we're kind of exposed to all of the kind of excitement of actually trying to build hundreds of thousands of things ourselves, whoa. rather than designing a thing and then getting somebody else to build hundreds of thousands of things. Yeah, whoa. So yeah. where do you get them built? Uh, so they're built in South Wales. They're built, oh, in, cool. they're built by Sony. In South Wales, um, huh. the same place that builds. So Sony build most of the. Um, when we started doing Raspberry Pi, we built in China, like um, like everybody else who wants to build low cost electronics. We yeah. thought, well, you know, Shenzhen is obviously the place to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so for the first six months, Raspberry Pi, the original Raspberry Pi Model B, was uh, was made in Shenzhen, mm -hmm. uh, and then we gradually started to reshore that to the UK. We discovered we could build it more cheaply, well, as cheaply. Yeah. Um, in the UK, we started to kind of um, we started to reshore manufacturing in summer of 2012 uh -huh. and then by sort of a year 18 months after that we were entirely uh, all of our manufacturing almost all of our manufacturing was in the UK so I zero really w is built there. Yeah. so cool yeah it's great uh, and so this one's got wi-fi and bluetooth yeah we so it was one of those ones where we had obviously zero has been zero was launched on thanksgiving 2015 2015? because we didn't understand that it was Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, so, you know, we, we put it on the front of our magazine, and the magazine always comes out on the last Thursday of the month. So, uh -huh. we thought we put it on the last Thursday of the month, and then right. all of a sudden, before we knew it, we'd launched a product on Thanksgiving, which uh -huh. is kind of, kind of weird for Americans. Um, and that's been very popular. Uh, mm -hmm. We've done a good few hundred thousand of those in the, in, the, in the ensuing kind of year and a half. And you gave those away with the Magpie magazine? Right? Yeah, we're the first. Uh, we're the first uh, so, the Magpie magazine, for people who don't know, the, Mag the Magpie magazine it's is. Super is cool. I should probably get one. Hold it up. Yeah, sure. um, it's a um, so it's a it's a hundred page computer magazine, um, mostly about Raspberry Pi, um, and it's unusual because we give it away for free. So you have a physical That's copy so that cool. you can go buy in the store, uh -huh. uh, or you can get it. So there are kind of four ways you can get it. You can buy in the store. You can get a subscription. You can get it as an app on your um, oh, cool. iPod product or Android um, device, uh, or you can download a free PDF. So we give away a free PDF on on the day without even any uh -huh. delay. On the day we launched the magazine, cool, we yeah. give away a free PDF. And, was, and how often does it come out? It's once a month. Cool. So the hundred pages. Well, it's great because that's incredible. Yeah. I mean, well, it's one of the things is, is so we, we were very lucky. We hired a chap called um, uh, called Russell Barnes, mm -hmm. um, who had been an editor of, uh, of a couple of other UK magazines. Mm. He joined us. Um, and what's been really kind of wonderful watching him is the discipline that magazine people need to have. You can't. Yeah. Slip. You can't slip the launch. There yeah, has no. to be. Uh, I mean, it's not quite as bad as I, I don't understand how people who write daily newspapers mm -hmm. don't just go insane. Yeah, right. Like they're just constantly stealing up yeah. years. Because <laughs> what is it? It's like it's Thursday now. Yeah. And like Saturday's newspaper, no one's written any of that yet. Yeah. I mean, how does that not? How do people not just go crazy from the pressure? Right. That it's like a, a monster. That needs to be <laughs> read with... I think you need to have a certain kind of like adrenaline junkie with a very specific yeah. like nerdy bent. Yeah, that's it. Know, so, <laughs> so, so, this, so, 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 Russell. So, so, um, the lovely thing about it being a monthly magazine, I mean, uh -huh. hundred pages. Is that's that's twelve hundred pages of content. We don't have very much advertising. Yet. Mm -hmm. We didn't go out and um, there are good reasons why. So, advertising sales is is, is tough for magazines mm -hmm. because. Um, you, if you only have one magazine, it's tough to do advertising sales because yeah. you need to have an advertising salesperson, um, but it's not a full time job. Mm -hmm. And so, advertising sales works best when you have several magazines and you can right. kind of amortize the cost of that salesperson yeah. across all the magazines. And you can also do sort of bunch package things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, there's lots of cool stuff you can do if you've got more than one. If, you've, if like us, you've only got one magazine, mm -hmm. it's hard to do advertising sales. So, the fun thing with the Magpie is it's 100 pages and probably 90, 95 of those pages are content. Mm -hmm. Pages where for a typical magazine it would be maybe 60 or 70 pages. Yeah, and where does it all come from? Is it uh, mostly it's like. Lots of freelancers. So we've got a little bit of in house. We've got three people on an in house team now. Mm. 
uh, but a lot of freelancers. I confess I've never read it, so I'm not sure. Oh, like, well, you should download it? the free yeah. PDF from I'll, the Magpie yeah. website. There you are. They always be selling. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> uh, well, always be selling for free, right? like, always, be, always be giving, always be giving things away. Though. Yeah, I mean that's a good point. Yeah, it's good. Um, and yeah, so we, we were when we were doing um, when we were doing zero in the summer of 2015. I designed zero, so Mike Stimson there was designing it. Uh -huh. we kind of got a bit of an idea of what the cost structure might look like, mm -hmm. um, and we realized we could afford to give it away with the magazine. So we thought it'd be kind of cool to be. Yeah, you know, in my childhood, we had ma computer magazines that had floppy disks, and you have computer magazines with DVDs uh -huh. as cover gifts. Yeah, or thought, like CDs of games yeah, yeah, and stuff. It, yeah. right? So, wouldn't it be cool to have a to have a computer magazine that uh, that had a computer? That's so cool. As the cover gift, uh -huh. um, and uh, it was crazy because it was nearly civil unrest in in like news agents in the UK. Really, you know, we have this collection of little signs that the um, that like W. H. Smiths, which is a which is a British, yeah. British news agent. Uh -huh. uh, um, they, they, all their staff had been putting up these little signs saying, "No, we do not have the magpie, and we Whoa. do not know when we will get more of the magpie. Please stop asking." Uh, and so wow. we were going in there. And yeah. It was great. Yeah. Um, the Cambridge one was really sweet because we had told a few of our friends this was going to happen, uh -huh. um, and um, so you didn't really give them warning in advance. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we, so we told, told some of our friends the day before it was going to happen, uh -huh. and so quite a lot of our old friends. We kind of got together outside the Smiths in right. Cambridge at, at five minutes to nine in the morning. Uh. And just a lot of people kind of independently just yeah, going yeah, down yeah, there. Yeah. We had a little bit of a reunion uh, of, cool. of old welcome people. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of that was fun. So yeah, so we. Did I've never that. heard of camping for a magazine launch. Yeah, that's it. You know, sort of like the Star Wars thing or, <laughs> yeah, or, or, or an iProduct. 